Crowd was suggested yesterday as a careful if you're long because it looks like it's headed down to this gap fill and it's there. So that was an island reversal potential. But at the very least, this is either bounce into the next little area of resistance, which now is also a gap fill or the market's going to lose its structure, which is not good. But yes, this was one that was a uh, short duration, 350 kind of thing. This short clip is presented by Club. Club provides access to Samantha LaDuke and her team of professional macro and micro traders, analysts, and educators. Club is ideal for active traders, investors, and institutions who want Samantha's best of breed market timing calls across all asset classes and timeframes like chase, swing, and trend. Get the trade before it happens. Sign up to Club now and get full access to Daily Live Trading Room with Samantha LaDuke. Slack trading desk with detailed analysis and trades. Custom trade support when you need it. And much more. For more information, visit www.laduketrading.com slash club. I want to show CrowdStrike, not because it was lucky or, or good that I happened to mention it as a short, uh, but I want to kind of show you that some of the monthly patterns that I looked at this morning since turning my computer on show a lot of trend reversals like a lot. Now I just started looking at it and you know, I'm going to dig into it more. First on this crowd strike, it was uh, included in very beautiful gap up, looked like it could do no wrong. It's clearly the, the, the leader in the cybersecurity space, but it sure looked like it was going to break this pink line, which is always representative of gaps, right? So this was the channel support and it was like tag, tag, tag. And then sure enough, it did break. This is a Bollinger Band that opens up now, clearly, since then, it has gone all the way down to the 200-day, or oftentimes it will get a little bounce, but this has been damaged badly. And, of course, downgrades are going to start coming in, and folks are just going to be like, I don't know about this. So, anyway, long story short, we left a gap for good reason. Island reversal could be very much a trend reversal, but you can't ever tell, for me anyway, on a daily. It's just a, a channel. Beautiful. Okay, gap fill. Very, very weak. There's your 100-day. Next is obviously the 200 day, but it usually happens in time, not all at once. From 250 to 290 is a, is a big hit for crowd and it's still suffering terribly. So I can show you on the weekly, because <clears throat> you know I love to pull out, zoom out in time. And I'm showing this because I want to show you some other very high flying chart of late that could do no wrong in this very bullish advance before the, uh, the debate with Biden clearly in decline and uh, Trump near miss assassination, uh, sympathy vote. Anyway, this combination has absolutely caused a distribution in the high flyers and crowd is among them, right? Eli Lilly is among them. Uh, things that just have been not anywhere short of breaking trend, right? This is my weekly chart. Here's your, that 10 week that I love so much, right? Even if we had distribution, which is sideways, that's not bearish. And then we did pull back obviously in April, which was a fabulous time for lots of shorts in semis, we got bid right back up. Beautiful bullish Harami and follow through above that 10, got a little extended, came back down to the 10 and 21. It held beautiful once again, bullish expansion Harami candle with a gap up. Looking at a weekly with not too much in the way, just kind of a monthly cradle formation that looks very, very, very trend reversal to me right back down into a monthly support area. So let me just kind of show you what this looks like with a monthly support area And before I do that. So here's the monthly view. This was the run up, could do no wrong, pulls back to the 10 on the monthly until the fateful November, 2021, when everything in NASDAQ, of course, speculative or momentum, didn't matter, pulled back and NASDAQ fell 35%. Well, you can see that this was the November high that it needed to get back above and it did. Since then, this year, it has stayed above. So this is the January candle. We got February, March, April, May, June, July. This is where it's literally coming back down, which is the 10 on a monthly, just like I had a 10 on the weekly. But it is a honking big bearish engulfing. Huge. Uh, so this is very dangerous. So even if we were to bounce here on a relief bounce and fill some area right back up into maybe even 338 and change, wouldn't surprise me. This is a trend reversal in the making. So I don't think this is going to be, uh, I know a lot of people are very, very bullish CrowdStrike. I got that. But I'm just warning 
for those who are portfolio long, for example, and it is best of breed. And I know some of you are portfolio long and I don't know how active you are in protecting. It just so happens that I happen to set it up as a warning and a swing short. But honestly, I had 338, 328 in time, maybe come all the way back down to 307, but in time, not such a, a, a ginormous reflexive um, dump. For your crowd, you're not out of the woods in any stretch of the imagination once we get and stay back below that kind of 297 area. All right, so crowd, like I said, is busted, man. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but there's just nothing here that speaks to me of safe. So little bounce, maybe on this 277. And I started with crowd strike, right? I really think this one is badly busted. I don't think this is going to be, um, in other words, please be careful catching the falling knife. This is really not safe. That's literally the one I started on this morning. Really not safe. Here's your monthly view. Here's your 2021 high. Here's multiple months. And then it broke. This is just sad state, which is not the market. CrowdStrike is not the market, but this is year 2K. Do you remember you uh, uh, the year 2000 Y2K, right? Everyone was worried about a global internet outage where planes would fall from the sky and all that jazz. Like literally what happened is exactly what they were afraid of. The blue screen of death. Although, thank God, instruments didn't stop working. But the point is, that was the largest outage in on the globe in history. That which they were all freaked out about in the year 2000. What happened that following that is just, you know, it happens to rhyme with we've topped out and rolled over. And crowd, let me put on a monthly. It's just kind of easier. And monthly... This is just broken as I started off the whole talk with, right? We've actually opened up below the 50, below the Keltner. If we see any reflexive bounce, it'll be once everything gets probably back and operational, but I don't see any support yet. All right, so 261.81 is a, an area of support. Got to get some new rotations this week because last week worked really well. So here we have some support to 72.63 area. Let's see if we get any reflexive bounce, at least back into the 200 day. But I just think on a big picture, this is still toast. Subscribe to Leduc Trading YouTube channel for more live trading room recap videos and other content.